So unfortunately, I was going up a hill. Uh, it was a very steep hill. It was uh, coming out of a canyon. And I was just kind of trying to do some stress tests on it and it uh, totally failed on the stress test of going up the canyon. It uh, made some s couple squeaky noises and I was able to just feather it uh, and I got it up finally up there but I was losing speed fast and I barely made it and then uh, I couldn't really go anymore after that from a stop it just didn't couldn't get enough grip and so I took off took apart all this stuff in here and the spline is totally fine on the transmission however this piece that uh, you know connects the bolts from the motor uh, it's totally stripped out as you can see I think this is something that's probably been ongoing um, there is a little bit left there in the bottom but uh, it's pretty rust filled and flat so it's definitely not why it's not getting any grip and I was kind of looking online to see what people are doing it seems like these Lovejoy couplers are the way to go now I just happened to find this one on a motor I had laying around I don't think it's quite the right size uh, for the shaft on this side, um, I think 1.125 inches is a little bit too big. I think that's just a one inch shaft. But uh, this 0.875 inch one happened to fit uh, quite snugly over the out end of the uh, spline where it's no longer got the spline on it. It's just a little output shaft that goes on the pilot bearing. Fits in there. Not totally snug, but pretty snug. Um, so maybe I can use that as some way to help me align it when I weld the pressure plate centerpiece on there. Um, it's stripped out on this one now. This one being stripped out kind of makes me wonder, you know, should I maybe go try and find a different method? Um, I was thinking maybe I could cut a notch and put a key in the shaft but uh, from what I'm read it's just not quite as strong as it uh, as a spline is so I think I'm just gonna have to get a new pressure plate unfortunately none of my local auto stores carry them so it's something I'm gonna have to be scooping up online I think I saw it at about 40 bucks so I'll keep you guys posted